हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द इंफॉर्मेशन एंड नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी लेक्चर सीरीज दिस लेक्चर नंबर वन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर विल कवर द टॉपिक्स सिक्योरिटी गोल्स सिक्योरिटी अटैक्स एक्टिव वर्सेस पैसिव अटैक्स दैन सर्विसेज एंड मैकेनिज्म्स रिलेशन बिटवीन सर्विसेज एंड मैकेनिज्म्स सो फर्स्ट वी स्टार्ट विद द सिक्योरिटी गोल्स सो दिस आर द्री मेन सिक्योरिटी गोल्स विच वी हैव टू अचीव द फर्स्ट वन इज द कॉन्फिडेंशियलिटी second is integrity and third is availability now these are the three extremely important goals which we have to achieve in case of information as well as network uh, security there are few more but these are the most important one so first we see this three the first one is the confidentiality now what is the meaning of confidentiality confidentiality means what uh, we have some information which must be kept secret and it must only be revealed to those who it is intended to for example uh, if we take the example of uh, let us say two persons alice and bob so suppose here we we have alice and then uh, so one minute so suppose we have alice here and we have bob so they want to share some information through some medium this medium may be a wireless medium or may be a wired medium so alice wants to send some secret message to bob and uh, she sends the information so uh, anybody can get access to this medium like suppose if we have eve she can get this information and she can she, she can actually know what was sent by alice to bob so uh, this part that is confidentiality it ensures that in this case whatever alice has sent only bob knows what is what was sent and nobody else knows what was sent even if this message message is captured by eve she cannot get anything about this particular message so confidentiality ensures that the the information remains secret okay. then second part is a uh, integrity part now what this requirement is like uh, suppose alice is sending some message to bob okay and uh, eve intercepts the message like suppose we have this this is the message which is sent by alice to bob okay now this message was intercepted by eve she changes the message and sends to bob bob thinks the message is coming from alice but the original message which was sent by alice was not received by bob but a message which was changed by eve was received by bob okay so there is an attack on integrity so integrity ensures that whatever is sent is also received by bob okay there can also be other forms of integrity but this was simplest one then the third is the availability now this third goal it ensures that whatever resources are there they are always available to the uh, users okay uh, genuine users we can say like suppose we have this uh, a server okay now this server provides services to some users okay this are, suppose user 1 and user 2 okay now whenever this user 1 and user 2 needs the service of the server they get the service okay attack on availability means what attack on availability it means that someone has attacked the server and this server is not not available to this particular users okay so there can be other forms of attack on availability so these are the three security goals we want to ensure that we have confidentiality we have to ensure that the the there is integrity and there is availability of the resources or the information now there can be varieties of attacks on this three particular things which we have studied so the first is attack on confidentiality okay now these are the two uh, most common attacks on confidentiality the first is snooping second is traffic analysis snooping it means that whenever alice is sending a message to bob then uh, an attacker like suppose if she captures the message okay so Uh, or she is able to see the message what is going on so that is the snooping part so that is an attack on confidentiality okay then second part is a uh, traffic analysis now traffic analysis here means that 
uh, Eve knows how many messages were sent by uh, Alice to Bob how much amount of information like suppose she she was she was sending 10 kbs of data of 10 9 mbs of data and so much number of files and so and, and so on so yeah, the, the attacker is just seeing how many messages or how much traffic had been sent from one source to the uh, to the destination okay and the two parties they don't want no to uh, to uh, that they, they should be known to any other person then we have attack on integrity now these are some of the attacks okay which can break the integrity of the system the first is modification now it is easier to understand modification like uh, suppose we have this Alice we'll consider these two persons okay Alice and Bob okay so Alice is sending some message to Bob okay but we have Eve okay she intercepts the message and she changes the message okay and sends to Bob okay so there is a modification of message which was done by Eve there is a take on the one of the attack on integrity second is masquerading masquerading means what in this case we have the attacker okay we have an attacker like suppose Eve okay so here we have the attacker Eve and here we have the genuine person Bob so Eve is pretending herself as Alice and communicating with Bob Bob thinks he's communicating with Alice but actually Eve is actually pretending to be Alice so stealing somebody's identity is called as masquerading then the uh, third is replaying okay the third attack is replaying okay now what happens in case of replaying so he suppose we have Alice here and we have Bob here okay suppose this Bob is a bank let us assume Bob is a bank okay then uh, actually what it may th this is one of the kind there can be many other types such types so Alice sends a message to Bob okay this is a message which was sent to the Bob server that may be like Bob, Bob is a server or a bank server or a bank so Alice is sending a message to Bob that uh, transfers so much amount of money from my account to Eve now what does Eve do he captures this message and resends it to Bob so this message which was sent by Alice was received by Bob twice one by Alice and this the the second message was replayed by Eve so this is called as replaying okay replaying uh, Eve gets the benefit okay then the fourth one is repudiation now re what is the meaning of repudiation repudiation means what like uh, here we have Alice and here we have Bob okay so Alice sends some message to Bob like Alice sends a message to Bob that transfers so much money from my account to uh, Eve when Bob transfers the account the, the sum to Eve's account now Alice she denies that I have not sent the message although Alice had sent the message now Alice is denying that she has sent any message okay or it may happen that uh, Alice has not sent any message to Bob. Bob Bob himself he makes a message and transfer some money to Eve and then sends uh, then then tells uh, th th then uh, he tells that he receives a message he had received the message from Alice although Alice has not sent the message so here any party can uh, be can be doing the corruption like Alice may send a message and deny Bob has not received any uh, any message but he pretends that he received a message from Alice so that's called as repudiation so these are some of the attack on integrity then uh, we have uh, attack on availability one of the common form is the denial of service okay attack which is uh, common in attack on availability now in such type of attack as we have discussed we have a server okay now this server is providing services to its customers like suppose we have a uh, we have a company which is providing some services to its customers okay authorized customers or authorized users okay now what attacker will do attacker will actually send many number of bogus requests maybe like million requests to this server now server may run out of resources and it may not give service to its authorized users so authorized users they won't get the service because the services will be down the services they are running out of sources so the services may not be available so this is one of the one of the way by which uh, attack attacks can uh, uh, attack on LD can be done now we can classify the attacks in two types either the attack is active or a passive attack okay so as we have seen 
like a uh, attack on confidence the, you can see this the first th th this row this uh, this comes under the category of passive attack snooping and traffic analysis which is concerned with threat to confidentiality it comes under the category of passive attack then this four attacks modification masquerading replaying and reputation with respect to integrity it comes under the category of active attack denial of service it comes under the category of uh, active active attack which is concerned with the attack on or the threat to availability now why this passive and active attack uh, it it can be easily understood that in case why this call is passive because uh, whenever an attacker is doing this two attacks snooping and traffic analysis attacker is not doing anything attacker is just watching the things okay or we can say is just making the ground not taking any action now in the last uh, attacks the, the the next five attacks this one okay the attacker is actually taking some actions okay the act attacker is doing some actions i uh, like modifying the message idle masquerading replaying reputation or maybe like denial of service attack but this part snooping and traffic analysis we can say it is the long it, it is also very important for for part of the attacker because attacker can know much much about the system under consideration which is to be attacked by using this two things snooping and traffic analysis so we can say snooping and traffic analysis they are the launch pad for the active attacks now uh, itut one of the organization which is making standards they have uh, defined five services which are related to security goals now these are the uh, five security services the first part is data confidentiality okay providing data confidentiality okay then second part is data integrity data confidentiality ensures that nobody changes the actually no no uh, unauthorized person gets the data okay then second part is data integrity this ensures that no unauthorized changes occur in the data okay then authenticity is also one of the important security make security services authenticity it ensures that if alice is communicating with bob then alice must be ensure that uh, the second party is bob and no one else is there okay so authenticating means uh, uh, the the parties the, the, the two parties may authenticate themselves before making any communication okay then uh, this one non repudiation it ensures that no party after messing a send, uh, se sending some information denies that it has not sent the message so that is the non repudiation part then we have the access control we can have some access control mechanism so that whatever resources are there in the system they are actually uh, the access is given according to the roles played by the people in the organization suppose if we have organization then we have various levels where people are working so some they can be given the access just to read the file maybe and some they can just write and some others they can make some changes in the file or create the file and so on so we have uh, the access control how much access should be given to whom now we have something called as security mechanisms okay so in order to ensure the services we have this mechanisms to ensure that so first is encipherment okay now what is this encipherment encipherment means what uh, like we have an information okay we will just encrypt that information write some code word of that information like suppose i have a message hello okay now this is easily readable but if i write in this way now this is something different we cannot interpret this so using some means by we, which we, we write the data in some coding form oh there is encryption okay cryptography part that is the encipherment then we have uh, to ensure data integrity so we'll use some mechanism so that nobody is able to change the data okay in case if if there is any change then the receiving party may uh, detect that there is a, there has been some change in the original data then we have digital signature now just as we, as we have the conventional signature which we do by the pen we also have digital signature so that we know that that message is coming from some part particular intended uh, sender okay so if alice is sending the message she may sign the message she can sign the message digitally so the receiver may know that it is it has indeed come from alice then we have authentication exchange okay so two parties if if they want to authenticate themselves if i am saying i am so and so person so i must have some proof to to say that i am so and so okay 
so i i, I must have some uh, thing i may know something okay so there are various authentication mechanisms that we'll we'll see afterwards then we have a uh, traffic padding okay traffic padding actually it can be done to trick the attackers okay we can send some bogus bits along with the data so that uh, if 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 if, uh, if the attacker is doing some traffic analysis he can be tricked he or she can be tricked then we have routing control routing control actually it ensures that the data is not going through any particular path it can go, it can go through various different paths okay so that snooping and the uh, that co the, the attacks on confidentiality does not occur then we have notarization now notarization what does we have we have a third party in this case we have some third party so that uh, that reputation okay that does not occur so if if uh, we are making any deal then there should be a third party okay so in case if uh, there is a dispute the third party can of course the third party is a trusted party then that they can solve the problem using the third party then we have again the access control mechanism okay so these are the various security mechanism okay and finally we have this relation between security services and mechanism so uh, in order to have this data confidentiality service we have this encipherment okay so ensure to get this data confidentiality we use the encryption method to ensure data integrity we have this mechanisms like encipherment digital signature data integrity and for authentication we have this uh, authentication exchanges digital signatures can be used encipherment can also be used for non repetition we have this notarization uh, then uh, data integrity as well as digital signatures and for access control we have various access control mechanisms so there's a relation between the security services and the mechanisms so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching